I remember the date happened, January 28, 1986. I was in kindergarten, and we had just finished listening to Teddy Ruxpin. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Teacher turned on the television for us to watch the launch. We were all excited to see the first teacher in space. The teacher who will be going into space, Krista McAuliffe. When the space shuttle eventually blew up, none of us knew what was going on. Our teacher just cried and turned off the TV. It wasn't until much later that I understood the full extent of what happened that day. And it was this experience in films like The Last Starfighter and Star Wars that piqued my interest into space. I began watching more movies, studying science, How fast is the velocity changing? How much is it accelerating? And working on these films, all in hopes of imagining space through both science and art. But before I could actually get into space to see what it was really like, they discontinued the shuttle. And lift off, the final lift off of Atlantis. America, America continues continue the, the dream, dream, and so do I. Fast forward almost 28 years to the day. And I'm standing in the same place these astronauts launched toward heaven and slipped the surly bonds of earth to touch the face of God. I never thought I'd actually make it out to Cape Canaveral, a place tragically burned into my memory as a child and a location I've written about many times in my films. Through NASA Social, myself and 43 others got to watch the Tedris L satellite launch. We had special tours of the crawler, VAB, and attended a Tedris press conference with former astronaut and NASA Administrator Charles Bolden. We also got to attend a Sierra Nevada press conference where the Gene Tracer launch date was announced. The final attraction was the highlight of the day. At liftoff of the Atlas V with Tedris L. Want to view a launch? Check out NASA social to find out how. Booster view is gone to close of control. Picture our world program has begun. Vehicle body rates look good.